Hey everybody, it's your old pal Metal.Text here. Um, I'm doing something I've never done, never done before today, which is sort of an unboxing video. I bought the Goodman Games grab bag, grab box thing, because um, they do this every year and I was jealous the last couple times that I saw people sh uh, haul from it. Um, Goodman Games makes DCC, Dungeon Crawl, Dungeon Crawl Classics, which I've run a few times now, and uh, I had a blast, so I wanted to mostly get more modules. So I bought this to see what the heck is in it. So let's find out. First thing, GM Gems. Um, this has a really doofy cover, first of all, but uh, I was looking through here. It's really cool. It's just lots of um, system neutral stuff, honestly. Like, it's all branded DCC, but it's really system neutral. Lots of just like random tables, uh, percentile tables and stuff, alchemical mishaps. Um, this is my favorite one in the whole book, Dockside Events, just kind of weird stuff that can happen Dockside. A vengeful wizard vaporizes, vaporizes a boat as it leaves the harbor. Cool, cool stuff. Um, local folk tales with adventure hooks, memorable NPC frills, rites of passage, just like lots of cool stuff, lots of good ideas, stuff to steal from, uh, what's in those pockets. Really cool. Um, did not know that this existed at all before I got it, so I am really happy with this one. Also, this end paper is great. Love this. Next up. Dark Tower, the Sunken Temple of Set, level seven adventure module. So DCC, uh, or Goodman Games licensed or bought? I guess they bought. They bought Dark Tower, which is the uh, Janaja K's um, old system, old uh, module. Um, this is kind of a tie-in to it. It's like adventure here. Um, this is, I think, the only 5th edition thing that I got. I'm not really a big 5th edition D&D fan, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one, to be honest. But there it is. Next up, Robots Among Us, Metamorphosis Alpha. Metamorphosis Alpha is a very old 1976 uh, RPG. It claims to be the first science fiction RPG. Uh, this is an adventure for it. I've never played that game. I had never even heard of that game until I got this, to be honest. But there might be some cool stuff to lift from it for sci-fi stuff. Not sure. We'll look through it. Um, looks kind of neat. I dig the uh, old school artwork. I dig that there's rules for a bomb squad robot. Yeah, gotta gotta look more into this one. Uh, now we're into the modules, the DCC modules that I got. Which I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of these is in this little format that they did, the like digest format. This is Sky Masters of the Purple Planet, level six adventure. Not a huge fan of this format because it's pretty dinky. Um, but this is a cool one that I wanted anyway. It's sort of a um, sci-fi-esque thing, sort of a swords and spaceships deal. Definitely into that. Next up is Tomb of the Savage Kings, which was the free RPG day 2021 adventure. Uh, level two. This one looks cool. It's got um, lots of Egyptian themed stuff and mummies. Um, looks like a cool puzzle related to this hieroglyphic page. Digging that. Love this art. Um, next up we've got, um, so a few of these have sketch covers, these sketch covers that they do on some of them. Um, I actually have this one. I own Hole in the, Hole of the Sky, Hole in the Sky 
already. I own the normal cover for it, but here's the sketch cover. So I'll probably um, give this or the other one that I have away to somebody. Uh, this is a great one. I've actually run this one. Tons of fun. Little level zero funnel. Um, this one is the Dread God Alcazadar level four adventure. This one's pretty beefy. This one's um, one of the $14.99 ones. They have like a couple different price points depending on size. This one is, looks like sort of a double size one. Um, level four adventure. Yep, looks great. Another level four, Emrakul was framed by Michael Curtis. Um, this one looks cool because it is mostly a sort of urban adventure. Um, in a crazy, crazy tower. Love this artwork. I thought this was great too at the end here. These uh, creepy golems of some sort. The Sea Queen Escapes. This is the other one that I already own. I own the normal version of this cover. I don't own the uh, sketch cover. Have not run this one yet. Probably will give this one away as well, or my original cover, not sure yet. Um, it looks really cool. Underwater theme, lots of shark people, and yeah, looks really great. Happy with that. Next up, the 13th Skull, another level four adventure. I got a lot of uh, level fours and sixes. 13th Skull, uh, don't know anything about this one. Looks pretty creepy from what I flipped through it already. Lots of skull stuff. Um, yeah. It's like pretty typical DCC fair. And then the last one here is this one is, this is a thick one. This is $20 price point. This is Journey to the Center of Aerith, which this is a Harley Stroh adventure. So it's going to be good because he writes... I think all the best ones. Um, this guy is real beefy. Uh, pretty excited about this one. Looks like there's kind of a few different things in here. Different different uh, parts, part one, part two, part three. It looks like in different locations. Really excited about this one. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, next up, let's see what else is in here. So there's these two yearbooks, program guides. So these are the Gen Con program guides that they kind of bundled together. This is the 2018 one. Looks like this is the 2019 one. It says yearbook, but I think it's the same thing as Gen Con. This has the uh, tournament module that they run in it. They do a tournament module at some of these bigger cons. Uh, the Black Heart of Thakulon the Undying, also written by Harley Stroh and Mark Brenner. It's also got another um, really weird adventure in it called The Misguided Menace of Georgetown. Um, it's cool. It has the, I, I flipped through here, it's got like organizer notes and sort of funny things that happened when they ran it, this uh, tournament module. And it actually gives you the, the scores at the end of this to see there's a scoring system um, and it tells you who won the Tootsie Pops. Congratulations. Um, then there's some other, there's the, the other adventure in here. There's pre-generated characters for that tournament module. And then there's uh, lots of photos from different events and stuff that they've done. Pretty cool seeing the big uh, DCC Doom Gong that they ring to start the tournament modules. And uh, whenever anybody dies, they have to go up and ring that. Cool. Um, and then the next one is the 2019 kind of the same version. This one's interesting because it's not a single book. It's just sort of loose cover and then different. You get the tournament adventure, the player handouts, the judges pack, the player pack, and then this is the, the same thing as in the other one where there's the, the photos and stuff in here, lots of different stuff, different uh, articles. I think there might be another adventure in here as well. I'm not sure, I've got to look through. Um, this module is supposed to be absurdly, ridiculously hard, like TPK craziness. So I'm not sure if I'm ever, ever going to run this one, but uh, it's cool to have, longer adventure.
Let's see, what else is in here? X Crawl, Anaheim Crawl. They, I think they do these for events as well. It uses the DCC rules, but it's kind of like, um, it's like Smash TV. The players, superstar athletes, taking their chances in a live on pay-per-view death sport. It's like really similar. So it has a couple little tweaked rules around that, but it's, it's pretty similar to like a DCC adventure. Uh, it looks pretty wacky and fun. Then there's the, love these. These are Mutant, Call, Mutant Crawl Classic scratch-off character sheets. So there's, I believe, four level zero characters to a page here that you just scratch off and go, and they, they're randomized. Um, love it. I've got to run a MCC funnel now. Uh, next up, we've got... The Thieves of Fortress Batabascor, which is a Judges Guild scenario that is very old. I think it's from like 1979 or something. It's a reprint that uh, Goodman Games picked up. It's got the old font in it, old typeface. Um, not sure if I'm ever gonna run this guy. It's It looks a little dense for me, but kind of an interesting thing. I'll flip through it. Looks like this is another um, old school thing. I'm not sure what this is. The Dungeoneer. Looks like a, a reprint of an old zine of some sort. Gremlins, Goblins, and Uglies. Wow, that text. Yeah, looks like there's some monsters in here. Gremlins, the Wax Goblins, Uglies, Goodie Bags. Little adventure of some sort. Hmm. Interesting. Then we've got some posters. DCC Day is coming. This one's cool. This is a Gidman Games 20th anniversary little poster here. The van. Another one of these. Uh, what's this one? The Goodman Games World Tour 2021. That's fun. Uh, some sort of screen, Maximum X Crawl screen. And then the last thing is Grimtooth's Trapsylvania, a source tooth for Grimtooth's traps locations. So this is those old school Grimtooth trap books. It's a uh, it's like a campaign setting with. I believe some of the old traps in it, some new ones. Um, gotta flip through this thing. I haven't really, don't really know much about it, but it's a big, thick book. Um, what's the price on this guy? $24.99. So that's the one thing I'm gonna talk about at the beginning of this. Um, the grab, grab bag, grab box was 70 bucks, and the modules that I got alone are probably $100 based on their, their MSRP, so. It's, it's a lot of stuff that you get, so cool.